And welcome back to Voices of Agriculture. You know, each spring and fall, several of our county farm bureaus come together with other ag leaders in their communities to share the story of agriculture as they host farm days for elementary kids. And this spring, we attended the Rutherford County event in one of the fastest growing cities in the country, Murfreesboro. Today is Adventures in Agriculture here in Rutherford County. It is a free event for the community to educate uh, young families and children about the agricultural community in Rutherford County. The Farm Bureau women took over the event from the Extension Service about 12 to 15 years ago. We have over 150 volunteers, yes, and we've had uh, as many as 1,700 to participate. We originally wanted to go to schools, but we have so many schools in Rutherford County, that wasn't possible. So that's why we do a one day on a Saturday, because we really want it to be family friendly. We want children to come and have an opportunity to, to hands-on activities about agriculture, but we also want parents here to hear the whys that children might not quite be able to understand yet. We are out at Adventures in Ag <laughs> at the Agri-Park, and we are having a great time learning all about um, the food that we eat and animals and plants and just really exploring everything to do with agriculture. It's important to show um, the hard work and dedication that farmers put in to provide certain foods and things uh, for our, our, our tables, you know, our cows, goats, I mean, you name it, vegetables, fruits, everything that we eat on a daily basis comes from a farm. You know, it's important to learn what happens around the city and who works and where we get our, you know, like food and, and it's fun. It's good for the kids to learn too. So it's all, all around a good experience. I think that this is very, very interesting, very educational for children. They will get comfortable around new things, animals, and learn where our where stuff in the stores comes from and knows that it does, doesn't come from the store, which is awesome. I learned a lot about bees and uh, got to taste some honey that was the most delicious honey I've ever tasted in my life. So one of the biggest things I've learned through FFA is just really spreading advocacy about ag. Um, one thing I've been doing through our plow program is being able to talk to the youth and make sure that they know um, what agriculture is and where their food and clothes come from. Before I joined anything like FFA or ag, I knew I didn't know anything about where my food came from and by teaching these kids and teaching these adults even that are with their kids about what's happening about their food, it, it teaches them like what they what they want and what they learn because nobody really knows anything about what they're eating and what's going on before they eat anything. But these kids they born here they don't know all these things so when we heard about this in NashvilleParent.com we would like to come here and we want to spend some time with full family knowing all these things and kids are loving it so yeah. We brought our grandchildren we bring them every year so that they can learn more about agriculture about farming and they love the chocolate milk that they have here and all of the animals and it's just been a really good experience. Because that way we are able to learn about what animals are able to do and their ability to do what they do. The best part for me is um, getting to taste the honey and petting the animals. I like about farms that have the animals and they have food so we can eat. Well, always great to see the excitement of kids and even adults as they learn more about our most important industry.